Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Okay, so today we've got a couple of new things to um, talk about, show you, all that good stuff. If you notice in the uh, animal cam, Blue is in the bed, and I'm testing this out to see how close the cats will come into the room. They seem to be getting along okay with each other. Uh, Blue has pretty much accepted the fact that they're here and he doesn't, you know, chase them anymore. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled up there. Um, and then I'm going to show you some things that I got from Etsy over the last couple of weeks um, with some birthday money that I had been given. I went ahead and ordered a few things uh, that I want to show you. And then I'm going to talk about a product that is not art related and I am in no way, shape or form affiliated with them, but I am a huge fan of the product. So I wanted to share um, the products with you and um, see how that goes. So anyway, okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you, put that to the side. First thing I'm gonna show you, I've waited for this, uh, I think for like two weeks. I saw some people um, get this product and I was like, okay, I have to have one. I'm, I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon and I'm gonna get one because I hadn't seen this product anywhere else. So I wanted to get it. So anyway, okay, so this is from JH Envision Labs. I haven't, I, I opened it to make sure it was the right thing, but I have not quote unquote used it or opened it. So this is a personalized drill tray. Um, and I know you've seen some people use these. Um, it's a square diamond painting tray and I got mine in a color that I did not see other people have. I, I saw a lot of people have the green and the purple and the gray. I was like, you know what? I want to get a silk red. And that's what this is. It is a silk red. On it, you've got the sticker, JH Envision Labs. So excited. I thought this was really, really cool. I've seen a bunch of um, creators that I support use this. Okay, so it is a shiny red tray and on the bottom I got Anxiety Art ADV. Um, I had to get, come on camera, focus, there we go. I had to shorten it because obviously um, my camera is being a real pain in the ass. Um, I had to shorten it because obviously my name is too long for, um, the drill tray. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? And it's a real shiny, like pearl, pearl shape colored red. Um, it's got a stopper on it, which is awesome. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm a little concerned about are, is the divider in between. If you look down in there, you can see... There's a divider, um, one side, yeah, actually the drills can go out both sides. So, um, not sure about that. I, I think it might get stuck, but we'll see. Um, I like the fact that it comes with a stopper. I don't have a stopper on, um, on my Archer's Art trays. I didn't get stoppers. I should have, but I didn't. So anyway, super excited to get this. Um, this was to get it personalized, the tray. It was $19.99 um, with tax and shipping. My total was $24.23. And again, this came from JH Envision Lab um, from Arizona. And I will leave the link to JH Envision Lab down below so you can check out the awesome trays. Um, but yeah, and they've got a bunch of different colors to choose from. There's, um, you know, a blue, a green, an aqua, silver, gold, there's metallic colors. So, but yeah, I got silk red. Love it. Pretty cool. Okay. So that was the first thing. We'll leave that there. Okay. So the second thing I had not purchased any pens from Jim's, um, handmade pen shop in a while. Um, because I have a lot of them and I was like, you know, I need to take a break on that. But as you all know, I have a huge problem with 
drill pens. I don't know what it is. I'm obsessed with them. Um, if I had the patience uh, to make them, I would. I actually looked at getting a lathe and like trying to do drill pens. I was like, you know what? No, I'd have to put it in my basement. It's messy as shit. I just, I'm not going to do it. I'll just support the people that do make them. So, yeah. Okay, so I got three pens from home. And again, I was fortunate this was with um, money that I received from my birthday. Okay, so the first one I got, this one is called Infinity Lava Explosion. Okay. Y'all. It's... It's reminds me of like a galaxy pen. Isn't that beautiful? Now his pens do come with the thicker multi-placers, which I don't use, but you can take these out. You can swap them um, with different placers. You can do whatever it is you want to do. Um, the tips are interchangeable. So you can take some pliers and gently pull these out when you inevitably bend your tips, which I bend them all the time because I'm rough on them. Um, but you just replace them with the tips that you get in the, um, you know, the drill cuts you get with every diamond painting. You can just use those tips. So isn't that pretty? All right, I'll leave that one out. Will it stay? Yes. Okay. Now the next one, this one is called <laughs> Unicorn Puke. <laughs> I, it's gorgeous. It's got every single color in it under the sun. Isn't that awesome? And there is a sparkle to it. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle, but oh my gosh. Yes, please. I mean, it's just every single color you could think of. It's got like orange and green and blue and red and brown, yellow, all kinds. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you can choose when he makes a pen for you. Um, now these, these I bought, they were already on the site. Um, the next one I'm going to show you was a handmade one that I asked them to make. You can choose between a three bump, a four bump. You can choose your tips and all that stuff. So I'll have Jim's link down below. His shop is a permanent link on my description. If you scroll down, um, I just leave his up because his is one of my favorite shops. Okay. Now this is the one that was made for me. Uh, this one is called um, well, we'll just call it red magma. Um, but he did hand turn this one for me. Um, y'all, it is a pink, red, black, and pearl, uh, swirl. That is amazing. So pretty. Oh my gosh. And again, the, the craftsmanship that goes into making these pens just amazes me. Um, so many talented people make acrylic pens and clay polymer pens. I'm just amazed. I wish I could do it. I just don't think I would have the patience um, to do it. So, uh, yeah, I'll just keep buying y'all's pens. How about that? Okay, so those are the three pens. Camera. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, so those are the three pens that I purchased um, and the tray. Okay, now the next thing I ordered, I have been stalking Etsy um, on Whimsical Daisy's shop to get more of their mud wax. And I finally was able to get some. Okay, so I got... And they come in, you can get them in, I think five shoot five or seven gram I don't honestly I don't remember what what I got <clears throat> I don't have the receipt um, okay so I got this one is cinnamon cinnamon it smells so good you guys so there it's nicely put in a screw top um, I like the consistency of these um, of this wax. It's a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, flexible. That's the word I'm looking for. Flexible. 
Mm, smells lovely. Um, so I really, really like this wax and I'm starting to use this wax more than my patty wax. So anyway, very hard to find. Um, she runs out, they run out of it, um, quickly because it's just her doing it. Um, feeling peachy cream. I got peach with the hello kitty sticker. Um, smells great. All right. So that one had um, I don't know what kind of symbol that was. This one has a star on it. Okay. And then this one is, are we in Florida? This one has a, a pusheen kitty, pusheen, however you pronounce that. This one has like a teardrop shape on it. it smells very fruity. So yeah. So I got three of those. So those will last me a while. Now, I got the bigger ones. Now, the last time I got wax from, from uh, Women's School Daisies, I got them in the smaller containers. And I'm, I'm really, I've been using this one quite a bit. And unfortunately, it's starting to dry out. So I think I need to start putting these in like little Ziploc bags, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway. Okay, so now the wax, the wax came with this teeny tiny little pill capsule and in this capsule is a note i have not opened it yet <laughs> so let's see i thought this was really cool um although i don't think i would have patience to do this okay so it's like a little scroll that you unroll oh how cute and it's a handwritten note thank you for your purchase Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Awesome. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so I will have um, JH Envision Labs, Jim's Handmade Pen Shop, my freaking camera, um, and Whimsical Daisy. I will have them, all of them listed down below so that you can check them out. Okay, those were my my diamond painting things I wanted to show you. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you, like I said, is not a diamond painting product. Um, it is something that I've been using for probably about three months now. Um, oh, actually, we're gonna test this. We're gonna put some drills in this and see, make sure it's you know, cut correctly. Uh, here, I'll take some drills from me working. Here. Oh, I'm looking for some drills. Here we go. Alright. Still working on Luna Moth, y'all. Almost done with it, but, you know. Okay. So, let's see how they shake out. They shake out good. None of them seem to stick. Uh, maybe a little bit. Not too bad. Um, but you know, these are handmade 3D printed trays, so, you know, nothing's perfect. Cool. All right, now let's see how it goes back into my bag. You take the stopper out. All right, so see, there are a few that stick, no big deal. You just push them with your finger. But yeah, I don't see, it came out just fine. Um, I don't see any rough edges or any strings, anything like that. So um, definitely, um, definitely was very precise in the cleanup process of it, which is nice. Okay. Very nice tray, very nice tray. Okay, um, you see the cats over there? Which one is that? That is, that's Skylar, stocking blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll put these up here. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is, like I said, it's not an art related product, so if you don't wanna watch a non art related product, you can just go ahead and click off now. 
Um, but about three, four months ago when the pandemic started, um, I was having a hard time finding uh, regular hand soap. And this is how this all started, was just trying to find hand soap. Um, so I looked around, I couldn't find any. And then I found this website uh, that offered organic plant-based products. Now, I'm a huge fan of plant-based, I'm gonna drink some coffee. Huge fan of plant-based products. One moment. Because a lot of you aren't aware, I have a, um, a somewhat rare skin condition called dermographism. And basically, anything that is out of the ordinary, um, that gets on my skin, it makes me itch like crazy. And then, um, if I itch it, like you can, you can write, you can write your name in my skin. It's, it's crazy, but the itching drives me mad. So I am on a daily dose of Allegra and then I have special lotion to use whenever I have a breakout. So a lot of soaps and lotions and hair stuff, they have a lot of chemicals and dyes in them that really irritate my skin. So I was trying to find something that wouldn't irritate my skin. So anyway, first thing I'm gonna show you. Now, this company is called Puracy and they are, they make all of their products with plant-based material. Um, and it has all the ingredients on here. Um, you know, this stuff is amazing. I have a bunch of this. You can buy them in, uh, these, uh, 12 ounce, um, you know, pump bottles. And then they have big refill bags that you just refill, um, this. So, uh, it's puracy.com and I'll have the link down below. Um, but they make all kinds of plant-based things. So, and I'm going to get more into it. So that is the hand soap. Big fan of the hand soap. Um, it doesn't leave your hands really dry. Um, it's got some, some oils in it to keep your hands more moisturized than a normal soap, like soft soap and that kind of stuff really dries out my skin. Um, pretty bad. Now, the other thing they have and you can find it on rare occasion. You can sign up for their, you can put your email in and sign up for when they come back in stock. They do put priority to doing the hand sanitizer to, you know, hospitals and people on the front lines. So they don't have this very often. But like I said, you can sign up, put your email in, and you can be notified when they do get this. Now you get three of these. These are 12 ounce bottles three of the gel hand sanitizer. <laughs> She's playing with the, the corn with the squeaker in it. Um, and this is a 70% alcohol hand sanitizer. So it is, um, you know, according to the CDC, this has enough alcohol in it to use as a efficient hand sanitizer against COVID. So this is amazing. Um, again, it, it does have alcohol in it, but they also have some oils in it that help uh, counteract the dryness to your skin. Um, so they also make they also make a foaming hand sanitizer that does not have alcohol in it. It has another another type of product in it that says it's supposed to kill 99% of germs. Um, but I went with the alcohol one. I do have one of the foaming ones. Just I wanted to try it. Um, I wasn't a big fan of that. I like this one much better. Okay. So then I was like, okay, well, if I can get soap and hand sanitizer, let's try their dish soap. Now this is organic lemongrass. Um, oh, and all of their products, I meant to tell you, all of their products are made here in the United States in Austin, Texas. Um, so they are locally made, um, here in the United States. Um, but natural dish soap, plant derived, non-toxic, sulfate free. So this stuff is amazing. Um, I bought two of these. This is a 16 ounce bottle. And with this stuff, you really don't need a lot to put it in the dish, um, to get it soapy. So I use less of this per dishwashing round than I would with a normal, um, 
like a normal Dawn or anything like that. And again, it doesn't dry your hands out if you don't use gloves. Um, and it smells fabulous. Lemongrass. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. That's going to move. Okay. So then I was like, okay, well, if I can get dish soap, let me look at their other stuff. So I went ahead and got um, their shampoo and their conditioner. Now, this is the only one they sell. They do not sell any other types. It's citrus and mint, and it's, you know, a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, it's fully plant-based. Um, doesn't have, um, like, sulfates in it. Um, it's color safe. It's all that good stuff. And it doesn't bother my skin at all. Um, it smells fabulous. It's got a, you know, a nice mint smell to it. It's great. Love this stuff. Um, I've been using this now for a week. I wanted to wait for a little bit um, before I gave you guys a review of that. And then I also got the um, natural body wash. So um, this one comes in coconut and vanilla. Great stuff. Great stuff. Um, and it, again, you don't need a lot of this to get it to soap up. Um, just need a little bit so you're gonna use smaller quantities is is all of the is are these products more expensive than your normal soft soap or dawn or anything like that yes but here's the kicker locally made ships to you very quickly now the other cool thing which is dangerous when you go to purchase these on their website you can use your Amazon account to purchase them um, the, some of these products are on Amazon. Uh, I don't trust that. I buy them directly from Puracy's site. And you can still use Amazon checkout um, to buy them. Um, so that's fun. And then I wanted to read this to you. Let me pull this up. So a um, portion of all of their proceeds go to charity. And I wanted to give you the charities that they donate to. Um, and, and it's on their website. Um, on I think it's our story or community care but anyway so I'm going to read you some of the um, charities that they donate to um, the first one is family reach it is a national charity dedicated to um, eliminating the financial barriers that come from a cancer diagnosis and um, you know helping helping people with cancer financially um, the Central Texas Food Bank, they donate to that because they're located in Texas. Um, the Southern Poverty Law Center, um, it's dedicated to monitoring hate groups, uh, teaching tolerance through education, and providing justice for victims of exploitation, discrimination, and hate. Um, so those are three that they've highlighted. And then they also have um, the National Black Child Development Institute, um, dedicated to uh, the well-being of black children through early childhood care and education, health, wellness, literacy, um, etc. They have um, charity. They donate to Black Girls Code, uh, which is a national charity focused on introducing programming and technology to a new generation of young black girls to create more opportunities for them. Um, and then also they do the uh, they donate to 100 Black Men of America Incorporated. Uh, with chapters nationwide, uh, it is a charity that leads in the mentoring of black youth to develop their education, health, wellness, and economic um, empowerment. So those are six, just six of the many that they donate to that they highlighted on their site. So I wanted you all to know that they do um, donate to charities and they do a lot of charitable uh, work as well. So great company. Like I said, I'm in no way, shape or form affiliated with them. I am not, I have not been asked to do this. I'm not making any money from doing this. I just, I really, really like their products. And I wanted to show you something different on the channel. Um, I watched Anne from a colorful life recently and you know, I'm going through the same thing. I'm going through some channel blues where I feel like I'm doing the same thing. I'm either showing you a coloring book or I'm showing you a diamond painting. Um, and to be honest with you, it's it's getting a little boring for me. Um, and I know you all tend to enjoy looking at those. The coloring books, not so much. Like I said, the coloring books don't get a lot of views for, for the channel, which, I mean, I don't really care. It's, it's what I like to do. I like the color by number coloring books and some other ones. So 
Um, but I'm trying to think of different things to show you on the channel um, just to spice it up a little bit that might not be art related like this. Um, so you might be seeing more of that for me uh, in the near future. But I am asking for you in the comments below, and I'm not trying to copy Anne, but um, I did tell her that I was going through the same, the same dilemma of, you know, being in a funk on the channel just because I feel like I'm just, you know, doing the same, same old, same old. Um, but tell me in the comments below if you want to see more things like this, um, like things that I've tried that aren't art related, um, or what would you like to see on the channel? Uh, I mean, obviously I'm going to keep showing you diamond painting and coloring books. Um, but let me know in the comments below what, what you as a viewer want to see. Um, that would, that would be nice because yeah, this, uh, this has been uh, probably about a month now where I've just been like kind of, eh, you know, I'm doing it. I, I like diamond painting and I like coloring. But like I said, I feel like it's the same old, same old every time I show you guys a video. So um, I do want to do something different. And I'm not sure yet what that's going to be. I do have something coming down the pipe. Um, it's a, well, I'm, I'm not going to say. I'm not even going to go there yet. But it is going to be something completely different and new um, that I am going to be uh, trying and see how it works. Um, if it works well, it might, it might be something I do on a regular basis. So anyway, I wanted to show you these and the tray and the pens and the wax and all that good stuff. So, um, let me know if anybody down below has these products, has tried any of Purist these products and what you think. Um, some people may really like them. Some people may not so much. Um, I really enjoy them for the fact that they don't irritate my skin and I have had no issues with any of their products. And like I said, before I came on here to, you know, show these products to you, I wanted to make sure I had tested them on myself um, for a while. So like I said, I've had the hand soap and the gel sanitizer for probably four months and then the dish soap for at least two months and then um, the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash I've had for about two weeks um, and been using them. I think I've been using the shampoo and conditioner for about a week, but I've had them for two weeks. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments below, you know, let me know what you'd like to see on the channel or if you, if you'd like things to change, how you would like them to change, some suggestions would be great. Um, also, if you've tried any of these, um, if any of you have... Um, also, let me know about Whimsical Daisies, if you've tried their wax, fabulous wax, um, JH Envision Labs, if you have a personalized tray, and of course, Jim's Handmade Pen Shop, um, love his pens. Um, the other thing I wanted to end with is I recently became a Patreon of JoJo's Art, and I am a huge fan, huge fan of JoJo's Art. Um, his, his artwork is just fabulous. So, um, I became a patron of his, not so much for, um, most of his pa Patreon, um, is geared towards teaching people how to illustrate or draw or, um, you know, things of that nature. I'm not going to be doing any of that. I'm just supporting him and the fabulous artwork that he, uh, that he puts out. So, um, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that he had started a Patreon. I'm sure you have. It's been on Instagram. It's been, you know, all over the place. But um, I do have some things that I've purchased that I will show you from um, to support JoJo's art. So um, that'll be next next round. So anyway, hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you haven't, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but again, if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. Welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, so you know when I put up more videos. And uh, for all of my patrons, thank you so much for your support. Love you all. And um, 
super excited for, for what's coming down the pipe for me to try. Um, and this new thing I'm going to try is going to be specifically for my Patreons initially. Um, they're actually going to be the guinea pigs. So, uh, yeah, so that's exciting. So if you want to get in on the new thing, check out my Patreon. All right, I am going to go, but thank you all so much for watching and I hope everybody has a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you again really soon. Bye guys.